Thank you to Kind Heathen for the newest challenge. Let's see what we've got. Oh, fucking hell. If you have any children, you are probably aware of the Disney movie Frozen, along with a hit song from the soundtrack called Let It Go. Well, I don't have kids, but I do use that song to lure them into the back of my van, so yeah, yeah, I know it. Which has been viewed on YouTube over 645 million times. But did you know that there is a diabolical message in the lyrics? It promotes the satanic philosophy that lawlessness equals freedom. What? No, no, no I, I did not know that. Let me show you what I mean. Well, yeah. Good. Good. You can't just say something like that and then fuck off afterwards, can you? Come on, enlighten us. Here are some of the lyrics of Frozen. And the first thing that caught my attention was this line saying, Don't let them in. Um, I'll do the reading here. Thank you very much. It says, don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Fuck no. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. And I, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to know the plot of the film because, well, I don't really feel the need to explain that one, but it seems pretty standard shit for a song about someone who has the powers of ice and isn't an X-Man. It's basically talking about pretending to be good while knowing you have some kind of hidden sins. Then they become discovered. Well, now they know, says the song. Most children could probably relate to this because they are taught to be good by their parents. But let's face it, children do a lot of bad things. Hashtag not all children. My one and a half year old daughter smacks me in the face all the time when I hold her in my arms. <laughs> one years old and the kid's already got swag. Fucking legend. Even though I tell her no. But I'm bringing that under control by putting her in her crib every time she does that now. And she's learning that there are consequences to her actions. Oh, oh yeah, she's learning about consequences, all right. I bet every time she does it, your missus takes her out for a fucking happy meal. But how does the song Let It Go teach children to deal with their bad behavior once it's been discovered? Yeah, no, that's a good fucking question, actually. All you've done so far is imply that you're a fertile human being, which, one, isn't a fucking achievement, and two, isn't all that believable. <laughs> you're not fooling anyone, mate. Does it teach children to reform themselves in some kind of way? To stop doing that which is bad? To stop sinning? Does it teach children there are consequences to their actions? Does it teach them that you can pray to God in the name of Jesus and he will forgive you and give you power to overcome your sins? Fuck no. Fuck no. It does none of that. If it did, it wouldn't have over 645 million hits, would it? It would be some preachy shit that gets about as many views as I do, except they put a fuck ton more effort into it. No. No. Quite the contrary. That's just a posh way of saying no. Continuing on with the lyrics of Frozen, they say, let it go. Oi, it's my show. Continuing on with the lyrics from Frozen, they say, let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say, let the storm rage on. Now, other than encouraging kids to slam doors, I really don't see the fucking problem. I think it's a metaphor for being ostracized or some shit like that, but you, you Bible fuckers are better at finding metaphors than I am. In other words, let your sins run wild and rebel. Don't fight your bad behavior, let it go. If anyone tries to tell you something about your misbehavior, turn away and slam the door. Rebel. Oh, fuck off. You won't even hear that message if you play it backwards. Let your sins run wild and rebel. Don't fight your bad behavior. Let it go. Holy shit. Okay, all right, I'll take it back. This is what the song is implanting into the minds of our young children. If you think that was bad enough, wait until you see this. It's time to see what I can do. Um, oi, I think, do you know what? Just fucking read it. I'm fucking sick of telling you anyway. To test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Not only does this advocate rebellion, it speaks about testing the limits and breaking through. Yeah, I know. It says it right there. What are the limits? The limits are the rules, right? I thought it was the limits of her power. I mean, she can create ice for fuck's sake. And when was the last time your god did something cool like that? I don't see little girls dressing up as Jesus on their birthday, nor do I recall him releasing a song that has over 19 million streams on Spotify. And this song says that in breaking the rules, you become free. So ultimately, the message here is rebellion and lawlessness is what grants you true freedom. Sound familiar? Um, that, was that some of the lyrics to Freebird? I don't know. God told Eve she couldn't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and if she did, she would die. 
Yeah, fucking textbook error that. Put an evil in a tree. Stupid. Satan, disguised as a serpent, told Eve in Genesis chapter 3 verses 4 through 5. Well, well I'm going to stop you there because I actually found the direct quote myself. You certainly will not die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. So yeah, I mean, y you're spot on, actually. Word for word. That's, that's right there. And Disney's got some fucking explaining to do. I can only imagine what impact this song might have on Christian children who are taught by their parents to keep the commandments of God. Well, that would imply that Christians are weak-willed and gullible. You said it, not me. Not only does it teach children that rebellion and lawlessness equals freedom, the movie Frozen is full of magic. No! Baptize all the children quickly! Can you think of any religions that teach the philosophy that lawlessness equals freedom and that also practice magic? Uh, no. I can. Satanism and witchcraft. Oh, yeah, no, no, I should have seen that one coming, really. The satanic creed is, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. In other words, the satanic law is that there is no law. You know, you are awfully brushed up on satanic law, aren't you? One might almost say passionate. I don't know, I don't know. Just, just put it out there. Just put it out there. One is only free when he does what he feels like doing. Just like the song, Let It Go, says. Of course, that's a, um, a picture of Anton Levy, the founder of the Church of Satan, uh, who also moonlights as a Ming the Merciless lookalike in his spare time. And this is Elsa, the ice bitch from Frozen. Now, as you can see, the similarities really speak for themselves. And Satanism incorporates magic. To be specific, lesser and greater magic. Yeah, now see, now that's what Christianity needs, right? A bit of a revamp, bit of a spruce up, try and get the numbers back, you know? Lesser magic is described by the Satanic Bible as the change in situations or events in accordance with one's will, which would, using normally accepted methods, be unchangeable. Oh, well, you don't hear those lyrics in Let It Go, though, do you? This is basically the power of law and attraction. Now you know where the power of law and attraction comes from. It's a part of the belief of Satanism. So magnets must be the work of the devil. I fucking knew it, man. If you really want to change your circumstances, you need to pray to God and ask him for his blessing and guidance in your life. Guidance in my life? What the fuck does God know about paying off a mortgage? He can fuck off. Trying to change your circumstances by the power of law and attraction is relying on your own power to change it. In other words, you are taking the place of God. Well, it's time someone else had a turn, isn't it? Let's be fair. You are becoming your own God, like Satan told Eve in the Garden of Eden. I don't know how you're marketing that as a bad thing, though. I mean, who wouldn't want to be their own God? I might finally get to breathe fire. About greater magic in Satanism. Oh, you cannot shut up about Satanism, can you? You fucking love it. Dropping hints like you want it for Christmas. Greater magic is the practice of rituals which include things like altars and the image of the Baphomet, the mascot for the Church of Satan, and basically a symbol for the devil, in my opinion, for the purpose of sex, compassion, and destruction. Funny thing is, though, replace a couple of those words and you just described the Catholic Church. Sex rituals work to entice another person and compassion rituals work to improve health, intelligence, success, and so on. But who needs that when you got sex rituals? Now I'm going to talk a little bit about witchcraft, because witchcraft has some similarities to Satanism. Aw, have you got to? Can we get back to Frozen, please? Witches abide by a similar creed as Satanists, and that is, if it harms none, do what you will. And witches also use magic, white magic, and black magic, to be exact. But that's not to say that one is better than the other. Hashtag all magic matters. The difference between the two is that white magic is used to provide good intentions and help people around you, while black magic is used to harm others and for selfish gain. <laughs> I mean, that's not even suggestive, is it? That just plows right in there. Some of that famous religious subtlety I've heard so much about. However, the truth of the matter is that both white magic and black magic are demonic. See, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some, let's get some racial equality up in this bitch. Magic is practiced in witchcraft through the use of spells. Spells can be cast by a mere wave of a wand, by doing a ritual, or by simply pronouncing a few words. 
One could also be placed under a spell if they drink or eat something which has been spellbounded. That's what your wife told you when she fucked that other guy, yeah? She was spellbound. Do you ever wonder if your daughter is really yours? I mean, she doesn't really seem to like you. While casting a spell in witchcraft, spirits are often invoked by prayers, dances, gestures, or songs. Those spirits are really just demons in disguise. Yeah, 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 unless you do it, and then it's angels, right? Right. Therefore, from my observations, the song Let It Go from the Frozen soundtrack Oh yeah, yeah, do you know, it's, it's actually been so bloody long, I forgot you were talking about that. Incorporates lyrics which promote a cult philosophy, that you can only truly be free when you don't live by any rules. As opposed to accepting the belief of a benevolent bearded creator in the sky who gave us free will as long as we operate within set parameters and basically feel guilty 24-7. Fuck man, at least Frozen had a talking snowman in it. And the movie Frozen itself is full of magic, which can awaken an interest of the occult in children. Because occult groups like Satanism and witchcraft practice magic. I think a more pressing question would be what the fuck have you been teaching your children that an animated film can make them question it? I mean that's just flimsy foundations mate. This is dangerous stuff. I don't think our kids should be watching these kinds of movies or listening to this kind of music. It leads them away from God and right into the hands of the enemy. And who's the enemy then? Pixar? Oh yeah, I love that film where Mickey fucks Minnie up the ass with a severed goat's head while the cast of Monsters Inc. are spirit cooking in the background. Yeah, fucking loved it. Thank you very much to Kind Heathen for that challenge. I'll make sure I respond with something just as fucked up. And make sure all you guys go and check out Kind Heathen's channel. Link is in the description. And in the meantime, remember, if you're having fun, it's probably the devil and you should be ashamed.